A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of Y254. Thank you for tuning, for for tuning in to Y254 TV. My name is Ram Aguko. As always, it is a pleasure being with you each and every Thursday from 11 a.m. This is Power Talk. And today we want to talk about money in, uh, and relationships. The, can one affect the other? Money, investments, relationships. How can we be able to utilize our money in our relationships? Can money ruin relationships? Is it possible for you to invest as a couple, work together you, you know, with, with your finances and still have a solid board in your relationships? So this particular uh, Thursday morning, we want to talk about relationships, money and uh, investment and joining me in studio I'm joined, I'm joined by a fantastic duo to my extreme right I'm with Alan Lawrence he is an inspirational speaker an author and a relationship coach thank you so much for having me thank you for for, for coming it's a pleasure you so you're well yes thank you so much yes. and uh, next to me I'm joined by Ruth Mudoni she is a, a senior property advisor. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Thank you. You're well. I am blessed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. So am I. Yes. Now today we want to engage with you. And the hashtag is why it, it, it's part of show at Ram Agugo and that Y254 channel is where you can be able to engage with us. Let us know where you're watching us from and what you take is about uh, relationships, money and investments. Is it possible for you to have a solid relationship full of transparency and trust regardless of money? We've seen money ruin many relationships. How can we solve and bridge this gap? Well, today, let's engage with us, uh, the, uh, with you. The hashtag is uh, Power Talk Show at Ramago and at Y254 channel. Let me start with uh, you, Alan. Yes. Can money ruin relationships? And how can we ensure that money is the solid foundation of our relationship? Yes, uh, it happens uh, because you realize that most of the people get into a relationship with a wrong perspective or with a wrong notion because... Uh, I've always said that some people get into a relationship and they treat a relationship as if it's a financial breakthrough, mm. whereby they come, they come, they are not uh, thinking of how can we grow together because there's, the reason for the relationship is for us to, to grow together, for us to, to be able to advance ourselves uh, because you need to do an introspection after I met this person. What have I really achieved as far as my career, as far as my finances is concerned? So this is a kind of discussion people should have from the very onset. I love what you're saying. You're saying that some, for some, some people look at uh, relationships as a financial breakthrough. Yes. And uh, which makes me come to you. Now, for many ladies, I, I, I don't share this. They mm. say, I want a well of man. A man who is... <laughs> Financially stable. Yes. Financially stable. <laughs> and, and, and when you realize that they, they, are, they are not having that job you wanted, mm -hmm. they are not earning that amount of money you want, yes. the lady just flees. Why yes. do we have such uh, Why do we do that? Why do, do, do ladies do that? Um, I think there's a, uh, there's a notion of we want the rich people, mm. we want the rich men, people who are stable, people who have stabilized. Um, I think it depends. It depends. Because uh, <laughs> you can't ask, you can't ask for a man who has money and yet you have you have no job, you have no car, and you want this man to come and finance you. It's, it's interesting because the lady is not financially stable, and you want a man who is financially stable. And that is where we go wrong. I always say, like, uh, there is someone who says that if you, if you want a man who drives, you'll definitely find them at the parking lot. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't be setting the standard up there and get you. And get, yes, I do agree. So uh -huh. people really need to put in the work. and uh, you, Because at the end of the day, you attract who you are. Okay. And you know, that, like uh, that angle of ladies, you realize that a lady, for a, for example, has, has stated that uh, his father was poor, you know, for lack of, his father was poor. And he accommodated the father. He didn't run away. Why, like now they want a man who is rich? How can we, how can we ensure that money doesn't ruin relationships, Ruth, in your view? Both of you need to have the money. Let's start with that. So that it, does, it does not become, you have to do this, I have to do this, or you have to come so that I can get a car, mm -hmm. I can get mm. to finance my house, buy things. No. I mm. think money in relationship, 
you both need to put effort into mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, I want us to, 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 to um, give different scenarios, mm -hmm. different case, different uh, possible cases in the regards to this particular uh, 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 topic mm -hmm. or conversation. And uh, let me start with uh, before you get into a relationship, before you date. Mm -hmm. There is that time when you are still, you know, trying to get that, that, uh, that potential, that perfect potential. The guy or the lady who, uh, you know, is working. The lady who is well-groomed and uh, who, of, of course, uh, comes from a humble background. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are some of the common mistakes most young people do or make before they get into relationships that pertain to money? Wow, interesting. I've, I've talked about it in my book called Before You Think of Dating. And in the book I've talked of, uh, before you even consider a relationship, what is your life purpose? Because if, if your life purpose is not known, any, any person can take advantage of you. So you need to be whole before you get into a relationship because otherwise you'll get into a relationship as if you are, it is actually a rescue center from yourself. Mm. You are not real yes. with yourself. Yeah, it's yeah. like you are evading your financial responsibilities mm. so that you compound on this person. And because if you've not known who you are and if you've not known your life purpose, if there is nothing you are doing with your life, you realize that your happiness is fully dependent on this person. Mm. And this person cannot deliver it. And there is nothing as so sweet as uh, enjoying your own space. Because the moment you enjoy your own space, mm. when you come into this relationship, you won't be competing with this person. Mm. You'll be complimenting this person. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. people yeah. need to reach to that point whereby they are whole themselves, they have understood their life purpose, and they have known the assignment they are coming to do into this relationship. Because a relationship is not on the foundation of feelings. Mm. It's on the foundation of commitment. You can't say that because I love him, I want to date him. No, it can't. Because... If, if, uh, if we can use uh, love as a yardstick to be able to enter into a relationship, how many people like fall in love with you? How many people? It's about commitment. That is why I don't buy into this notion whereby people say it was love at first sight. It was just infatuations. Because a relationship is commitment. <laughs> what? Yeah. what? You don't believe in love at first sight? I know, nothing. You, you can like the person, mm. but you can never love the person. It's a commitment. So you should not date emotionally, it's intentionally. <laughs> a, a lady has seen a guy in a very nice suit. I'm on a Lawrence. Lawrence is a, in a tie, yeah. a three-piece suit, yes. the watch there, uh, nice shoes, nice socks, yes. nice pocket square, then yeah. everything, and the, and the, and the, and the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so this guy must be well off. <laughs> <laughs> um, when a lady is uh, in campus, mm. Mm. You realize that they, they, they always, uh, for, for some, they tend, up, they tend to want to get to, uh, to have sponsors. Mm. Um, what's your take in regards to that? Because now that is yet a relationship that is being built in campus, yes. but based on money. Um, I think people want quick money. The young generation wants quick money. So, so that you can floss on Instagram, Facebook, your statuses, mm. um, you can afford the things that you yourself you've not worked for. And let me tell you one thing, money that is not yours, you will spend it the way that exactly. you want. Mm. But you will, you will have so much respect for money that you've worked for. And you've earned. And you've earned. Wow. But here we have a couple of chick that, that wants it easy. Mm, yes. They want their rent to be paid. Yes. Manicures, yes. saloon. Pedicure. And when you tell such a person uh. you're working, they'll be wondering, Mbunu unafanya kazi? Na kuna mtu wapa njaa neza tupe yo pesa? Why are you working? What will you tell that lady who is uh, interested in a sponsor or who has a sponsor <laughs> that is interested in her? Who is watching you today? Work hard. Work hard. Easy money goes. But whatever you've earned, whatever you've worked hard for, you will mm. respect that money. That money you won't go and buy lunch or buy clothes or buy shoes, do your nails. You'll invest. You'll invest so that that money gets to multiply. What's the problem with men mm. in, in, in this particular scenario? You, men feel like uh, they can, for some, they feel like they can buy love. 
let me take you out yeah. and just because i've taken you out yeah. i feel like you owe me something that that woman owes you something <laughs> so if she doesn't bring back yeah. or return what you've the investment you've give you've given out you feel like you know you own her uh, it is so even it is so sad to call such kind of people men because those are literally boys why because uh, it is uh, a real man will do things uh, just because it's their love language they enjoy doing it mm -hmm. but a person who is doing things that is not even dating uh, yeah. in the first place that that will be trading because at the end of the day you are just uh, showcasing who you are and you realize that most of these people they use that one as a cover up from the realities they are supposed to face but they are not facing it mm -hmm. so then they, they fear commitment this lady is not yet dating. Yeah. Huh? I, I, I don't know if you agree with what he yes, said. I yeah. Agree. Yeah. But we have a, a lady who is not dating. Mm. Yeah. But umekubali kupelekwa out. Mm. Mm -hmm. This guy has used money. So when he doesn't, when he wants something and you say no and you don't want that, and he reminds you, nimekupeleka out. Nimekunulia mangu. Nimekulipia rent. Nimekubaya sijui nini for some hata magari. Yeah. Uh, 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 is that the way to go? Is it a problem of the men or the women? It is the problem of the women. Yeah. Because we, we tend to, we want simple things. We feel good. We want to be bought for cars. We want to mm. be bought for flowers. Go make your hair. Your rent is, pay, is paid. But you have to pay. You have to pay for that money. There is somebody who said that uh, when, if someone spends money on, on you, they have uh, bought you that you should return or I don't really think so because it's it's like an uh, oh, yes you'll return if it's an agreement but I feel like as if men feel so obli obliged mm. you have to come and do mm. something about mm. it yes mm. but it shouldn't be the case and the problem no. that we do as uh, as women is tell the men what we want. Don't tell a man what you want. Because you're giving mm. that man a leeway, an, a leeway to a leeway. your heart. Yes, you're giving that man a leeway to your heart. But, but, but then what do you expect? You've, ac you've, you've accepted my advances. You've accepted my gifts. You, like uh, you see what happens in the first place, uh, the, uh, the foundation of the relationship is what matters as much as you cannot just meet somebody on the way and you just buy them so it means that even yes. today no one no one will just uh, start a relationship or with you they started with you long time ago and no one can break up with you instantly they started mm -hmm. it long time ago but the problem is most of the ladies especially ladies they tend to be blinded by the, even the red rose the red uh, the, re, the red roses mm -hmm. tend to blind them to see the red flags mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they tend to be so much excited and uh, you realize that the men, men of such kind, they will tend to excite your flesh as a lady. Mm. Because I will come and uh, I really know what you want, but I will not provide what you need. Yes. So wow. you, you realize that this, this generation whereby people, the moment I get you out, what excites you tells me more about you. So mm -hmm. if I've realized that uh, what excites you more is about cars, I will do anything and everything. And that is where um, we, we do wrong telling a man what you want. Exactly. When I come and, and tell Mr. Alan, maybe we, he wants to court me. Yeah. And I tell him, I love being brought for roses. Yeah. I love chocolates. I love um, vacations. I have already given him a leeway to my heart. Yeah. Men are hunters. But, but, but then how, how, how can you avoid that? Yet someone has asked you, can you avoid it. tell me something about yourself. What do you like? But you can, uh, you can avoid the question mm. by saying, I love a man who's responsible. I love a, I love a man who respects ladies. Ah, I, I love that. that. I, I love <laughs> <laughs> you have to be smart. That's clever. You have to be yeah, smart. You have to be smart. You have to be smart. I agree with what she's saying because Fritz needs a person like uh, it's an, uh, an interview setup. No one will yes. give you the leakage yes. that these are the questions you, sh you should be asked. Mm. So they just, uh, they just let you mm. come in, blank as you are, so that you can start from there. Those are tips for the ladies in the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if a man asks you, tell, tell me what you like, mm. don't tell them, I like chocolates. I like, no, no, no. Sema, I like a man who is... Respects the man. And, and, and you the say, woman. Uh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love that. Right? Because let me tell you, Ram. The next two weeks, yeah. that man will bring the chocolates. Exactly. He will take you to trips. 
he will do whatever he'll pay your rent because he knows that is what you want and you but must for him and now. you must no no not really i'm just saying in a relationship setup if you want to a serious man mm. so that this person gets a man is a hunter and i repeat so so that that person does not know what you want he will keep buying doing this and but, that and that but there's a man who when they once they've bought you and and, and, and and still i keep emphasizing on this that there's a man once they've bought you gifts they will want you to, to pay back to pay back and of course mostly it's sexual but you see ram eh? honestly like for men it's a serious uh, whereby psychologically a man who is not serious about a lady in the fa the first date i will do everything and anything to impress this lady materially mm. you get so if i'm not serious about this lady that's when i'll be so much quick even to, to, to fly her to any destination she wants. Okay. One question for the both of you. Mm. Does money make or break relationships? Uh, it can be two ways, depending mm. on the foundation of the relationship. Huh? It can be two ways. Two ways? Yes. Right. It can make the relationship or it can, inv okay. it can break the relationship. Okay. It tends to, there's, there's a time maybe in a relationship and you feel as if the woman is earning more than the man. And... This is why I say where there are finances, the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So yeah. you need to be smart. Hello. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to be careful. You need to be careful. Now, still, this is in, the, in this time where you are not yet dating. Mm. Before you start dating. Mm. Now, we have scenarios where you've uh, met a guy or you've met a lady, and uh, you've uh, gotten interested in them. Now, they have accepted to take you out, or you have decided to take them out. In this particular scenario, you'll realize many people want to make many observations, conclusions, and, and, and analysis to find out how is this person going to handle me when, I'm, uh, when we are out. Will they pay the bills? This is before you've started dating. Will they pay the bills? After dating, will will he get me a cab home? Mm -hmm. S ways to establish the financial stability and responsibility of a man or woman. Mm -hmm. Is that how it ought to be? Uh, still on you, and then I'll come to you, L L Lawrence. Um, I feel as a lady, it feels good when you go out. Mm -hmm. This man takes responsibility. He it doesn't even matter about paying for the cab, but you you are the one who called me for the date. So, <laughs> so you're the one who called me for the date. Whoever calls, okay. if if is it the first date? Huh? Is it the first date? Yeah, you've not started dating. I think you want you want to court it's, me. It's, it's the first time you're meeting. Yes. Uh, so you want to court me. Yeah. I feel it's it feels it feels good when a man gets to pay the bill. Are you okay mm -hmm. to check her, to check on you if everything is fine? Take for you a cab and go home. That is for the first. I don't mean it's the responsibility of a man to do that. But since Powerful. that is the first day. <laughs> <laughs> Powerful. <laughs> Let us, yes. For me, uh, what happens in the first date? Psychologically, it's a man. You need, it's not about even the thing, thing the bill. Mm. It's about showcasing the responsibility. Because ladies get attracted to potential. Yes. Showcasing the responsibility. Showcasing yes. responsibility. So, so, so paying bills isn't about who has uh, 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 money, but it's about who is responsible. It's a, yeah, it's about, uh, yeah, it's about responsibility, basically, because at the end of the day, is this person, because I'm committing for this relationship, mm. I will do anything and everything to ensure that it works. Not that I'm paying the bill to impress the lady, mm. no. I'm doing this to, to show, it's just like the way people pay dowry. All right. It's not, uh, I, 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 I want to give yet, an, uh, yet more examples. Loans. Yeah. Some guys take loans to impress the woman. Mm. Mm. Women are dead. And now you're taking loan, a, a, a loan. You, both of you deal with uh, you know, issues to do with finance. Yeah. Is it advisable to take a loan because of a date? It is never that serious. It's, why take a loan to impress someone? There are good loans and there are bad loans. Take a loan to invest. But don't take a loan to take someone out. If, stay in your capacity. Yeah. Mm. If you to share a to upper town, chicken in take that lady there because that is where your capacity Some is of these ladies are expensive then you They're can't expensive. why are you going for an expensive person then if you can't afford why <laughs> 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 
Stick to your lane. Love is blind. But dating is an eye opener. You see, love. Dating is an eye opener. I wish we had an audience here. Love is blind, but dating is an eye opener. Because during the dating, that is the point whereby you get to understand this person, you get to interact. So on that note, if if I'm going to take a loan to impress this person, it means that this person is way above me. I cannot sustain. Yes. So it's not worth the hassle. Mm. So better for you just do whatever it is within your means. That is why I said a man who is serious, mm. they'll be like, you know, truth. This is my level. Mm. Accept me the way I am. Mm. Because in this lady, what a lady will see is about the potential. How I take care of her. How I treat her. That is what matters. It's not about the, the, the amount of money. It's not about taking her to a posh place. I can take her to that posh place. But uh, my manners and the way we relate with her is not that palatable to her. I want us to uh, touch on now a different side now. Yeah. We said before dating. Yeah. Let's get to... Now the dating process. Yes. The man is involved here. Yeah. And of course, I want you to engage with us. Keep yeah. talking to us. Yeah. That's like is why it's, it's power talk show. Yeah. I don't know. I, I keep on saying why in the morning because I'm on <laughs> why in the morning also. Yeah. The, 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 the hashtag is power talk show at Ram Aguko. That's why 254 channel. Let us know where you're watching us from. Ask your questions. Give your thoughts in regards to this particular conversation. Let's talk about during dating. Mm -hmm. Now you're dating and it's official. The both of you are... Uh, uh, or maybe thinking of getting married, mm -hmm. or you are already married. Mm -hmm. Should couples mm -hmm. get to do businesses and investments together? Um, yes. Three, uh, I'd advise couples to have three bank accounts. Four, actually, four bank accounts. Four? Yes, four. Uh -huh. One? Joint, a joint bank account, savings account, and mm -hmm. now the two are the personal accounts. The joint okay. accounts, mm -hmm. make sure this is the money that gets to pay the bills in the houses and whatever you need. The savings account, this is where now you save the money. And the personal account, in Ipesayako. You know, it doesn't feel well when you, go to tell your, uh, when you want to go t tell your husband you need to do your nails, you need to do your hair. This mm -hmm. is your personal money. No one needs to ask you what to do should, with your should, personal money. So is it wrong for... Mm -hmm. The women, the women to ask their husbands, mm -hmm. it is not wrong, but I'm just saying it feels mm -hmm. it feels good when you do something for yourself. Okay. But I can come and tell you, and I can come and tell you, babe, chip in to maybe buying a car. I have eight hundred. Chip in. I need four more, four hundred thousand more. Mm -hmm. Chip in. It feels good. Even you as a man, it feels good. Unataka kutoa pesa yote atawewe. Let me see you. <laughs> it feels <Okay>. good. <laughs> you, 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 your take? Uh, people, people should, because we are working as a team, mm. whereby openness uh, comes in place. And, uh, you know, the moment we understand that this is our financial capability, we'll be able to invest together, the way she's saying. We have a, a saving account whereby projects and what have you. Uh, then that point whereby it reaches to that point as much as these ladies, whether they look good, there is nothing as sweet as a man's money. They will tell you. However, however much they earn, they, they always prefer that. This is opposite gender. <laughs> there is nothing, nothing that is as good as, as a, 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 a man's money. Yeah, especially your own man. They will tell you. Because, it is true. Yeah. It is because true. we yeah. say if it's not working for me, it's going somewhere else. Yeah. Wow. So it a is man, going however, else. however, even if this man will give her hundred shillings, mm -hmm. it feels so good. It yeah. makes yeah. her world. So, so she feels loved and cared yeah. for. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Um, now, still on investments, should you spend money mm. on each other, as in investing on each other? Let me give an example. You uh, and, and of course this one, uh, we we have so many ways of in, in investing yeah. in terms of money mm. on one another. It could be in, in terms of business. Yeah. It could education. be in terms of ideas. Mm. It could be in terms of education. Ed, ed, education. You know, yeah. should couples invest in each other in, 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 in such a manner? Yes. Why not? Because you only have a store you invest. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom is oozing from this house. <laughs> yeah. So, and these two guys. <laughs> you only harvest where you invest. Mm. You only reap where you sow. Yeah, yes. exactly. 
So if this person, like, you know, for instance, if uh, you invest so much in, in your woman, mm. believe me, you, you will also feel so nice because, you know, as much as you are growing, you are also responsible for, there is someone who is accountable to you. And it feels so nice and uh, it's a, a good thing actually to invest into each other. Now, there is a particular scenario mm. of a man who invested in a woman, yeah. took her to school, mm -hmm. Gave her a sense of education. Yes. Got her a job. Yeah. Now she is well off mm. and she is no longer interested in the guy. I'm talking to her. I love, I love the, the, the ladies like her. I mean, it's so much as an he, he can Kiburi. buy. Me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I know you've heard of such yeah, case, yeah, scenarios. A man has invested all his money mm. in a woman only for the woman to say no. And this is where you get cases where the woman was killed. I don't know what happened. Ati. Because it feels bad when you invest in something and then madharao mm. inakuja. Akufai kwa na madharao. Mm -hmm. Yes, invest in each other. And that's why it is investing in each other. Not you invest in me and me, I don't invest in you. What about scenarios where you've seen couples who have invested in each other to the point that one now goes above the other? Let me give an example. If And, and of course... I'm sorry, Nangileo na wake sana leo. But these are the, it is also based on, on the number of cases that I've, I've also had and based on the research that I've done and the findings that I've, I, I, I've realized. Um, we've, we've seen ladies who have been, in, uh, you know, a man was invested in a woman. Manamke akapanda ngazi. Now the, the kind of job the man has, of course, isn't uh, earning much. Mm. But now because he invested in the woman, the woman got a good job with a good salary, and now she's, you know, moving and rolling with the high-class people. Mm. He, she now feels as though, I need a better man. You, you know, you know, Rab, that's why me, I always say, never commit or date a lady or a man who has uh, not even tested money, because you don't know their character. Mm. But how can you test money and you come from a humble background? You see, there is a way. That is why you. That is why you need to see the character of this person when they have money and when they don't have money. Yes. Because the way this person will react, even if they have a thousand bob, mm. is the same way they'll react when they have a million. So you have to test this person. That is why people need. You know, even for that case whereby you are saying you've taken someone to school and this person changes. Nobody changes overnight. Mm. They started way back, but you choose to ignore the red flags. Mm. So it reaches to that point whereby that's why I began by saying people need to date intentionally mm. and ask serious questions and do, and do proper projections. Mm. Five years from now, this person, you know, ask yourself, what if, what if? But you realize today people get to date, the, the, the things they discuss, nothing. Because all about uh, the trending things, but matters to do investment, they don't. And especially guys, we don't open up. We don't open up and uh, this is your future, remember. And if you are looking at spending the rest of your life with this person, you have to initiate this kind of conversation from the very onset. Should couples make financial plannings together? Financial plans together. Of course, this can be yearly, monthly plans, mm -hmm. but based on finances. Yes, yes, they should. We both agree. Yes, yes. they should. We are working as a team. It is us against mm -hmm. the world. But now here you have a problem. A man does not disclose his salary. The, that is where another problem is. Bank. That is now where the problem is, and the, this is now I throw in back to the ladies. Because a man who is not opening up about their finances, they say, Ujamu excite financially, and every man can spend on you, and every man can open, uh, can open up to you. Yeah. It's you, yeah, it's you now, it's you, the, because women are so powerful. These people, they are very powerful. They can make you open up, but the problem now here is about the lady. <laughs> if I'm not opening up, she has not uh, excited me well. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, Alan, you're saying uh, the reason why a man hasn't disclosed his uh, financial information yeah. is because the woman has not yet triggered the interest to exactly. do so. Exactly. And, and then are we, are we even dating? Huh? That is why, that is why that I say... Or is it before dating? You're dating. We are dating. You could uh -huh. be married or dating. Yeah. <laughs> so, where by now, uh, we have, you have to be my safe space. Mm. Like today, you know what, I'm broke, Niski, next. That's now our fears. We want you to be our And that's where the, there's an importance of having the bank account. Exactly. That is where I will get what you earn. Yes. Because you will have know? to, yes, you will have to get money for the joint venture. You will have to get money for the savings. And now, that your personal money. You, you, you know, there are these men who, you are joined. But the, 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 <laughs> 
Ama hautajua iko na closer to his chest. Uh. But you know um, for as long as we put money in the joint and in the savings now there is a personal that's why I said there's personal money and this personal money you can't you ca I can't ask you what you're doing with your personal money but that that doesn't mean we splurge money everywhere so the question is will you be interested in finding out how much he earns oh yes i will oh yes i will <laughs> yes i will for security yes, reasons for security yeah, they, reasons yeah, they do. it's good to know yes it's good. No, it's, are afraid of but you know, the, like uh, in the dating setup, it's a bit hard, and uh, because you don't know uh, who this person is at the end of the day. So but if you're dating, you don't do it. I, you should not, not, not unless you are not serious. Just you want to excite the flesh of this person, and you know. But if you are serious about it, this person will find out. They will definitely find out. So if you are dating, don't disclose uh, salary yes. unless you're married. Yes. 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 <laughs> Unless you're married. Unless you're married. Uh, just know about his vision, what mm. have you, all those, all those kind of things. But so, 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 so the married ought to disclose yeah. information. Yeah. ATM cards, uh, bank pins. Yeah. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, but <laughs> it will just come automatically. Yes. There is no day you'd be like, you know what? You, you, you know there are couples who know each other's pins. Yeah. The ATM. Yeah. That's okay, That's okay, but it's not a must. They, you just find yourself. Because yeah. if this person is your best friend, mm. they're not your fan, they're your best friend, what are you hiding? Mm. What about investments <laughs> that are personal? Huh? We've seen people who have gotten into problems because of this particular scenario where yes. mm. this guy has a, some land, akona shamba ingine pale kitagela. This guy made an investment somewhere and the, the family is not aware. And I have and, and I've seen this also happen on the ground. That it is it, 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 it becomes so bad that because the family isn't aware that the man has some piece of land, mm. unfortunately, if the man passes on. Mm. things are growing mm. and no one knows who owns that who piece owns. of land. I think that is selfishness. It's being selfish. And I am in real estate. I do My, my main agenda is settling Kenyans. Mm. And I get so many cases like that. You do real estate? Yes, I'm in real estate. Uh -huh. And I get people who want to buy uh, property. Now, Wataki Bibi, I'm a, the husband or the wife to know, mm. that they want it to be a secret. Mm -hmm. I think that is being very selfish because ukikufa it's idea nani itaenda wapi then what was the essence of buying if you would if you won't share with your partner you know you, you didn't know you're going to die obviously but at least ambia mama yako ajuange kuna shamba mahali that is being selfish there are a lot of insecurities there then because <clears throat> you look at that uh, relationship, if it happens, there is something that the man knows or the woman knows, mm. but they are not willing to, to open up. They have seen, they have seen five years from now, maybe mm. kutakalika. Then oh. I think in this mm. case, we need to have people then having a prenuptial agreement. What do you normally advise couples? Mm. You, you, you say you, you deal with the real estate. Yes. How do you normally advise couples and what do you tell them in, in, when it comes to invest, in, investing in, in, in land and mm. property? Um, in investing in property, yes. we need to get, of course, somebody, if it's not you, who else will you put there? There are some people who put the sisters, others put the parents, and you have a wife. <laughs> mm. And in, at this point, you can't force your client to do what, you know, clients are always right. Mm. Mm. So you cannot force a client to put the wife, and maybe they have a problem. Today you, you have the, the right to advise this client. <laughs> <laughs> because you cannot tell them <laughs> when, you are seated, when, they, when they are seated opposite that, Tafadali, please, mm. <laughs> First of all, if there, if there are children involved, ekabibiyako. Yeah. This, you might, it might not even help your wife, but it, this property might help your children. Mm. You have to have a, a safe, you have to have a safe space in your husband or your wife. 
you have to feel safe with these people yeah. mm -hmm. to get to even open up and tell them nimenunua shamba this is not for you kama utaki saidia bibi mwambie this is not for you these are for my children these are for my children hapo ndo shida inakuwa yuko wapi yango basi kama hii ni watoto eno inamaanisha kuna shida kwa exactly. familia kuna there's a problem there's a problem, there's a problem that, in the family that these people they are not opening up yes what yeah. <laughs> there is a problem we share, like the way you you hear gossip they be like don't tell ram so ram, you tell ram and uh, ram knows that you know what don't tell so and so yes. so everyone knows mm. don't tell so and so so it's a secret but it's no longer a secret yes. because everyone is not telling the other everyone, <laughs> <laughs> everyone is telling the other not to tell the other yeah, not, to tell the, not other. to tell the other hey. <laughs> <laughs> relationships are complicated <laughs> all right still during dating or, uh, or, or, or marriage in terms of investments mm. you want to uh, do something called you, you, you want to start a business mm. um, how should couples handle a scenario where one partner wants to start a business and uh, 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 you, you know um, maybe need support from the other partner mutual agreement and uh, well, let's have this conversation because uh, I like the way you are saying a couple and uh, if they are working as a team, mm. the dream will work. But if this person comes with their interest and this comes with their interest, we cannot work because a house divided can never, can never, can never materialize to anything. Mm -hmm. But if these two can come and be like, you know what, we are doing this for us, mm. not for any other person. Yes. The, like the effort and the input would be mutual. Mm -hmm. Understanding that we are growing as a family. But in, in some cases, you realize one partner doesn't support the business. Mm. That who you and Itaka. Mostly in a scenario where the man does, is not interested. He doesn't want the woman to do a particular business. Mm. But the woman wants, wants that business. How do you handle it? Because that is also a form of investment. Before she comes in. You see, like, uh, what happens, it is a commitment. And remember, once you are committed into this relationship, it's no longer you, mm. it is us. So there are some things uh, you will have to compromise for the sake of the relationship. You mm. cannot just set the standard up there that there is no place you can meet. So you need to enter into, like for, for instance as a man, I need to enter into her world and see what makes her happy. And I'll ensure that I do that and she will also enter into my world and see what, does, what, what makes me happy mm -hmm. and she will be able to do it. So it's, it is a question of do we understand uh, the dynamics of each other mm -hmm. and how can we like, disagree to agree? Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I agree with what he says. And also there are so many scenarios whereby I want to do something but I do not have the finances but I want my husband to finance. Mm. And as you've said, maybe the husband does not want to finance. As he said, it is, it ha there has to be a mutual agreement. And you have to take a risk. Take a risk on your wife. Take a risk on your girlfriend. The people who are investing and they've not, they are not yet married, take a risk. Mm. And maybe that risk is the opening, uh, the opening factor to your relationship. So mm -hmm. take a risk. Give your hus uh, let the husband support the wife. Give you, uh, let that person give, him money, uh, give her money and mm -hmm. say, you go try. Mm -hmm. And maybe you'll, you'll go try and the business does not work. Try again. Because now, if the business doesn't work, then one, pers one partner will say, but I told you. But I told you. I told you I didn't want you to invest in yes. this. And you did. You insisted. I gave you my... Actually, they say, I wasted money. I wa yes. They will use the way. Yes. Huh? I, will, I, will I wasted the money. Mm. And uh, you, because you insisted. That's our honor. Wapi pesa. Wow. I think now, just now take a risk again. again. And that's why you, 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 you get to, uh, to a fight. Not everything works in the first trial. Mm -hmm. You have to try. You have to keep trying. But I haven't said that you fail now, fail tomorrow, fail all the time. Mm. No. Take a risk on your wife. Give her that money. If the business does not work, sit down. Look at what and what you did wrong. What and what you can improve. Mm -hmm. Take risk again. Uh, Take responsibility. And this goes to all the men out there. Are you, are you interested in taking a risk on your wife? Can you do so? I think you should. Can you invest in your wife? I think you should. Wow. Now, let me... 
uh, let me give a different scenario here. Mm. Because I've talked about many cases where the husband earns more. What about when the woman earns more? The woman is the one who has the, uh, the power to make things run in the house. She earns more. Maybe the, the, the husband isn't uh, working. But one day, that becomes a problem. Wow. How do you deal with that, Alan? As a man, in the first place, you need to be secure enough. You need to be secure enough and uh, you, you be like, uh, let this woman be your safe space. And that, that one does not demean you as a man. We are working as a team, remember. And for a lady, if you have an, an opportunity to be like uh, financially stable than him, mm. does not negate that uh, he's a man in your life does not make him less of a man. But for some women, they start making all the decisions alone. <laughs> In the first place, uh, she didn't mean well for this man. Mm. In the first place, because if you really mean well, you'll be like, you know what, you'll give him hope. Because remember I say that ladies will always see the potential in a man. Mm -hmm. And a, a serious lady will actualize the potential of this man to become the real man they want. They'd be like, you know what, today you are down. What can we really do? so that you can progress forward. But a, a, a person who is not serious about you, and I'll uh, say this, those are just slay queens who will be like, you know what, if he's not uh, earning much, remember, it was not love now and commitment that brought you. You're choosing violence. You're slay queens. Because you are just interested after what this man can offer. So yeah. you are just a fan to this person. You are not his friend. Because if truly we've been friends, no matter what comes, we will still remain intact. That is why today, Ram, if something happens and I no longer talk to you, uh -huh. and I no, like I choose violence, it means that I, I was not a friend, I was just an enemy waiting for an opportunity. So in that scenario, this was just this lady uh, trying to look for a perfect opportunity so that her true character can manifest. So she was just, uh, uh, you know, just hiding herself under the mascara and the water. Be. <laughs> <laughs> and he's choosing violence. <laughs> to the mascara and water view. <laughs> <laughs> That's violence. They'll throw you at you. Uh, your view. A woman who is earning more than the man. Um, I think even in the Bible it says, for better, for worse. Okay. And so that you get to even get married, you need to respect your husband, regardless of his mm -hmm. financial status. Well, uh, allow me to cut you short there. All right. I'm being told we need to take a break. Okay. And uh, after, that, after that break, we'll come back. But after this break, I want us to touch on very, very fundamental things. When does, and when did it start, that my money is our money? And your money <laughs> is your money. Your money. <laughs> 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 well, that's that. Uh, uh, keep engaging with us. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ramago at Y254 Channel. It's all about relationships, money, and investments. What are your thoughts? This is Power Talk. Y254. Imagine. Well, it is a pleasure being with you. Welcome back. This is Power Talk. My name is Ram Aguko. It is a pleasure being with you. And I'm seeing so many people are, are uh, on our social media handle. Nanapa EV. This is Kevin and Sam are enjoying the show. Uh, thank you so much. Everybody who has, uh, 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 you know, uh, left in their comments, thank, thank you for letting us know where you're watching us from. Keep engaging with us. The hashtag is uh, Power Talk Show at Ram Aguko at Y254 Channel is where you can be able to engage with us. Remember, we are also live on our website at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. So you can get, you can follow us online uh, from wherever you are watching us from. Today we are, we are talking about uh, issues to do with money, relationships, money and uh, investments. Now before we, we went on that particular break, um, we were talking about you know, when the woman earns more than the man. And uh, I want to bring in a particular scenario whereby the woman has uh, uh, seemingly is not happy with some of the financial decisions of the man. How should this particular conversation go? Whereby the woman is disappointed at the financial decisions of the man, but at the same time know that this woman is earning more than this particular individual who is the man. Ruth. Um, please don't keep quiet. Go talk to your man. Tell him 
what and what you're not agreeing with, what you think you need to change, regardless of you're earning more or you're not. You won't feel intimidated? I don't think... I made you who you are. I am the one who me me on me kujanga, ni me kufanya kwa kwa manaume, ni eskizo ni manaume. No, me uh, when I mean that you talk to your man, I don't mean you intimidate the man. Call him vizuri, mwambia city. We need to talk. I'm a fan of bad financial decision, but the first word is sweetie. You need kwanza okay. lazima um papa se roho, and then now you put to the table what you want to say. Okay. You always ikujo mwambia we we ebu kujapa. Ini nini na nini unafanya? First in the Bible, respect your man. Respect him first. Then mm. after you respect him, tell him now what you want him to hear. It's not about conflict. It's not about arguments. Don't mm. argue. You need to understand each other. Have mm. a conversation mm -hmm. and have an understanding. And that's when you'll, you'll get to air out what your, your problem is. Uh, for me, is uh, the way she's saying, First of all, connect with this man, mm. then correct him. Mm. Because remember, men we have a fragile ego. You try anything like to seem even to suggesting that you are putting me down. I will rebel and mm. I will do even worse. But uh, if you connect with me, you'll be like, why are you doing this? Try to understand from my point of view. Then bring like uh, a suggestion. The problem ladies face when uh, trying to pass a message to a man, they be like, you should, you know, you should. That one puts a man down. Mm -hmm. But the moment you suggest to him mm -hmm. and let it, uh, let it be like it is coming from him, that you know what, for the betterment of this relationship, mm -hmm. supposing you, you did things this way, he'll be like, okay. So he will be able to connect. Now, we are in a, we are in a restaurant. Yeah. The man doesn't have money, so yeah. he can't pay the bills. Mm -hmm. But we are in a restaurant. Mm. And of course, it's the woman who should pay the bills. Mm. How do you handle this particular scenario as a woman? As a woman? <laughs> After taking the meal, just tell him you'll pay the bill. You don't have to tell him, Atijuauna pesa, wacha nikulipie leo. No, just tell him, today I'll, I'll sort out the bill. Today I'll take care of the bill. Remember, this is a couple. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Married. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Okay, depending with the man, uh, the, uh, how the man uh, operates, but I'll feel like, uh, you know, also it can, uh, if, you suggest, if you think that this man doesn't have money and we are getting to the restaurant, supposing you did it before, Mpatiedo, Mwambe, like, it is for you. Or gi give him the money give to pay. Give him the money to pay. He will feel he owns the place. I'm a mfinye person, do you? Or don't you think Okimpea, he won't feel intimidated? Uh, okay, you uh -huh. just do it in a, in a nice way, depending uh -huh. on how he is. Yeah. So I feel if it comes from him, it'd be like I own this place. It'd be like you know what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Nice tips, nice tips. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I hope you're, I hope you're learning something from home. Now I want us to talk about uh, breakups now, and here we're looking into money, relationships, investments, and breakups. You've invested in each other for so long, and uh, here is a scenario where you have to, to part ways. What happens to everything that you are invested in? The property. <laughs> you, you, you bought this lady uh, a restaurant or started a business. You, you, you called it Ram Restaurant. <laughs> Or for example, if, uh, this is Ruth, yeah. and we have Ram, yeah. we call R&R &R restaurant. restaurant. My goodness, yeah. now we are China. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Alan? Uh, because uh, what I believe, no one will break up with you instantly. They broke up with you like even two years ago. And especially for men. Everybody will agree with me. A man knows this lady, the, the direction this relationship will go. So however, the wedding, but I literally know that it's not going anywhere. Mm. So the sustainability of a relationship is fully dependent on a man. If he is going to make it work, it will work. 
Mm. And if it's not willing to make it work, it won't work. So for this, uh, for this scenario, that's why I've said, let it be on the foundation of friendship. You're, You're saying, saying that every, found, every relationship depends, depends on the man? Yeah, it depends on the man. So, so if a relationship doesn't hold, yeah. if people break up, yeah. it's, it's always the fault of the man? It's always the man. Because believe oh. me, yeah, do your research. <laughs> Do your research. Because Lawrence, let me ask you again. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't say uh, that. Yeah. Every relationship that does not work, yeah. that does not work yeah. it is the man who is a pro who has a problem. It's the man who, who doesn't make who doesn't want to make it work. Hey brother. Yeah. Do your research well. Because let me tell you, uh, I have a lady a, a lady <laughs> by a lady by all means, she will do everything and anything to ensure that this relationship works. But if a man is not into it, no matter what you do, as a lady, no matter what you do. It's not about both of them putting the no. efforts. No. Just the man. Just the man. Ah. Even if the lady will be like... You agree? I agree now. I had not ah, agreed ah. before. <laughs> but now I have. Because you are a lady. <laughs> oh, <it's> a, <laughs> let me teach you because you are a lady. <laughs> now I know. Ask every, man, ask every man like who has broken up with a lady. Ah. They'll be like... Immediately, even immediately they saw this lady, they knew where we are going to. Because there is nothing, it's either you are fully into, into this relationship or you are not fully into it. This, this thing whereby people say, oh, let's try and see how it works. Already that's a red flag. It won't work. Because a man knows this is a wife material. The other one knows that this is a slay queen. I'll have, I'll have uh, her for today and you forget about it. I, I, I wish we had men in the... Men can be able to tell me if they agree with this. Do you agree that every relationship that has not worked out well is because of the man? Yeah. In fact, you're, not, you're saying all. Yeah, all. So anything that... Now, if they work out, is because of the man. Yeah, exactly. So whether they work out or not, the woman has nothing to do with the success. The man of can try. Yeah, the woman can try, but the man, the responsibility lies fully on the man. Ah, Ruth, you're taking regards to that as you tell us about. Now, mume achana, mulienda social media, mkatangaza mkona manyumba kubwa, investment wa hoteli, mkaitana majina, siu wapi, now mume. Tasa mume achana. Um... In this type of investment, after Mea Chana, there yeah. are two types of couples. Yeah. There's one whereby the man will say, because you've, you have my children, just take everything. And that will cater for my children. And maybe there's another maybe relationship where you do not have children yet. And maybe you say, we'll split 50-50, because each and every person invested in, into that business. Mm. So it's either the man gets to tell you, you take the investment, and let's part ways, but we are still friends, or we are not. You are, we are not friends, mm. or uh, in the in the next uh, scenario is fifty fifty. What you've invested, go with what you've invested, and I go with what uh, I've invested. What about the name, the name of the the restaurant? Should you should you change it? Should you uh, retain it? You know, uh, Ram and Ruth Hotel. Or, or, or something, and then now Ram is not there, but it's now Ruth and Alan. I think there's a relationship whereby maybe Mekosana, yeah. and you don't want to see each other, and maybe yeah. there's another one, maybe it's an agreement, Tumele Mewana, Wacha Tutuachani. So in that scenario, um, if you're good friends, it can still stay Ram and Ruth. It's just a name. What about a scenario where now Ram and Ruth are no longer there, it's now Ruth and Alan. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Alan has a problem yeah. with the name of this restaurant because the name is attached to your ex. <laughs> <laughs> you change it. <laughs> okay. Like, uh, I agree with her, whereby now it depends. But majorly, if uh, it was just romance that brought you together, that is when people can split and uh, you, you decide everything we have to split. But if there is a greater goal you are fulfilling, Believe me, the business can continue and still be friends. Because uh, that's why people, people make this mistake. They date, that's when they start building friendship. It should be friendship, then we begin dating. dating. So the moment the friendship is there, it is, as, it is the relationship that didn't work, the romance part of it that didn't work. It doesn't okay. mean that we cannot continue being friends uh, as business partners, whereby whatever we do is purely business. Because I've seen people who are exes and, and uh, whatever they are doing is uh, 
it is so good and uh, they are progressing and they are secure enough to, to, to even to, to mention each other names. At every point there is an opportunity. So it reaches to that point whereby are you mature enough to sustain this relationship, to sustain the friendship and to sustain the, the business? Mm. So it is a, an aspect of also maturity and your understanding. Okay. Yeah, because oh. some people, when, whenever things go sour, they will come and split everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it mm -hmm. becomes messy. And, and, and that's where kids now get affected. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and uh, th there was a bill that was passed in Parliament yes. uh, this week yeah. uh, that also touches on that. You can tell us what you think about this particular bill. Um, yeah. Uh, what happens in the case of death? You know, who should benefit from uh, you know the, the the resources or the finances of the man of which we were talking? We were told that it it should be the the legit, not not legitimate. Yeah. I'm looking for the for, for, for the term, but the legally wedded wife. Yeah. Uh, whereby now in, in the bill uh, I think it has captured at a point whereby if if this person has a child even with this lady and they are not married it's the lady who will benefit I think for me uh, this bill I look at it in a positive way whereby it's it will make people be responsible enough with their actions and people will because it reached to a point whereby it looked as if being a baby mama especially in Nairobi is one of a, a very well-paying job you will see the demands people will put in place then you wonder so it, it's really, it means that people need to, to work, people need to be responsible enough with their action and everything they are going to, to get involved. Okay. It, yeah, okay. so it gives people responsibility. Yeah. You take on that? It is, uh, it's, it's a good bill for responsibility as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To that get the eh? Yes. Yeah. All right. I want us to touch on uh, now um, other scenarios now. We talked about before, during, and, and after now. We are, it, there are some cases that, um, of course, go uh, cut across, yeah. whether it's before, during, or after. Yeah. Um, let, me, let me give an, a, an, an example. Let's say you're married and you have kids, and uh, your kids want you to buy them gifts, and your partner is not aware that you are going to buy these particular gifts. Um, how do you handle that particular scenario? I mean, I'm not sure I'm scale. Of course, they are, they are toys, huh? and uh, these these gifts that you that you keep on buying, and sometimes they are they are, they are gifts for yourself. Uh, your partner feels as though you know you are spending too much money on things we don't actually need. How do you handle such a such a scenario? I think this is where budget budgeting comes in. Mm -hmm. You need to budget for your money, and budgeting helps you to know what is coming in and what is going out, mm -hmm. and. If it gets to a point that you are using more than you are earning, there's a problem. There has to be a cash flow. And that's where, that's where I think um, the rich are. Kuna cash flow. There's more coming in than what is going out. Mm -hmm. So you need to budget. Children are very understanding. You yeah. tell her, Beba, mm. I'll, I'll buy for you next month. And make sure in the next month, You've budgeted, you've budgeted for whatever you wanted to buy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, um, now, another scenario that also cuts across, of, of which, uh, before I touch on that, do you have an input on that particular issue? I, I, I agree with her, whereby people need to budget, because to some extent, you might be doing that, and uh, your partner will feel like uh, you are doing this to win uh, children's loyalty. So you have to be very careful. All right. Mm. Now, still, you've mentioned budgeting. Mm. Should couples divide uh, roles in terms of money and budgeting, whereby couples can say that it is my responsibility to pay rent and your responsibility to pay school fees, and it is my responsibility to do X, your responsibility to do Y. So if uh, you look at the, 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 the expenses of the house, they're divided. They're, those that are mine, those that are yours. Is that an advisable way to go? Is, is that the best way that couples should be able to go for? Uh, go for? Alan? Uh, you know, people, I believe people to some extent, they don't plan. It comes 
naturally, whereby if people are understanding enough, they'll feel like, uh, especially for a lady, they'll feel like my husband is doing enough and uh, I think I can step in so that uh, we can grow together. Mm -hmm. But here now comes as a challenge. Ensure that uh, whatever, like, whatever you are doing, let it come as a point of you agreeing that you know what, my hus your husband or uh, your wife is, uh, is okay with that. Do not just push it, uh, push it uh, to her. Let it be like, you know what, uh, let it come, especially for a lady. Like she comes and tells you that, you know what, my husband, I'm going to be paying school fees and what have you. So all those kind of yeah. things. That's what I'm saying. Is that, is, is that the way that you, you say, Mimi, Mimi, yangu itakuwa kulipa school fees. Yo ni yangu. Yako ni rent. But you see, uh, that naturally a man needs to, to take full responsibility of everything. So at your department, let's say you are saying, uh, he, I'm going to pay fees. What is uh, the man's input also there? As much as other kind of my water view. So I think mutual agreement. It okay. can, yeah. huh? I agree. It has to be a mutual agreement. And also when you have the, now the bank accounts, the joint venture, that is where you get the money to pay your expenses. Mm. So Apple, I don't think you will know who has done this and who, who has done that. Okay. Yes. So, so, so couples should not divide roles. Yeah. I don't think they should divide roles. Okay. And also in a couples, there's always that one person who is really good on budgeting. Yeah. Budgeting is not a gender role. It depends mm -hmm. with the person who is best at it. Mm -hmm. it, might, it might be the husband, it might be the wife. Mm -hmm. So the one, who's respond, the, the one who's much better on budgeting, let that person do that job. So it means when you are about to choose your partner, you really choose well, huh? Yeah, exactly. I want us to touch on this as we bring it, bring it to a close. My money, your money, our money, where? To, oh, where do we draw the line? My money, your money, our money. Alan. Uh, it, it depends with the culture that uh, people, have, people have created. You realize that even those people who make noise on social media and all those places, oh, uh, that you know, it is uh, his money, it is, uh, it is our money. Mm. You realize that those people, they support their husbands at the end of the day. So it is a culture, I believe it varies from each family to each family, whereby it's a family culture that has been created. Okay. So basically the way she, she just uh, said, mm. when people have the joint account and what have you. So okay. it's just that culture that we've uh -huh. created. Ruth, um, my money, your money, our money. My money, your money <laughs> is our money. I think um, it's because people, okay, as women, <laughs> now I'm on the women part, mm. we tend to think if, come on, if, if this person is not using the money on us, that money is going somewhere else. And that's why you tend to see people say, your money is our money mm. and my money is your money. Okay. I said it wrong. <laughs> uh, your, your money is our money, but yes. my money is my money. Yes. yes. That is our, yeah, the heel. Yes. Right. <laughs> which, which, which should not be the case. That should not be yeah. the yeah. case. All right. I want us to wrap it up with this particular quote. And I don't know if it will come up on your screen. Uh, now, um, you'll tell me if you agree with it. Okay. My goodness, someone is calling me. Now, this is the thing. Uh huh. Now, here it is. Invest in people who invest in you. Wow. Invest in people who invest in you. Mm -hmm. For me, I think I look at it from uh, this side, whereby it is a mutual, uh, mutual coexistence. And uh, do things, do things because it's uh, human and uh, it is your nature, not because you have to benefit from this person. So you should not only be kind to people who are kind to you. And especially that is a point whereby, whereby your personality and your true integrity is put to test. Whereby can you do things to people who you cannot expect anything in return? Okay, Ruth. Invest in people who invest in you. Your thought. Do things, do things willingly. Don't invest so that uh, and wait for him to invest in you. Mm. Do it with a clean heart. Yeah. Do it with a clean heart. Okay. So invest in that person, not expecting that person to invest in you. But for, your, for as long you, as you've done your part, it, give, it gives you a, a very good satisfaction. Mm -hmm. It makes you get very satisfied. Mm -hmm. But 
Yes, I also agree in one way or another invest in somebody who has also invested in you. Mm. Even that other person needs to show effort. Mm. Mm. But, 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 but then I'm wondering, will you start weighing out who has invested in me most? And who has not invested? Who has not? Uh, <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm told we should wrap it up. Yes. <laughs> that is to the end of today's morning conversation. This is Power Talk. As always, a big thank you to you. Thank you so much for being part of today's show. Big thanks to Alan. Thank you so much, my brother. Yeah. Uh, Ruth. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. I, I, it, it was a pleasure. I should bring you, you, you back again. A repeat of this show airs again tonight at 10 p.m. My name is Ram Aguko. This is Power Talk.